Today I am joined by Miss Smith and we're going to talk about the holiday toy drive. So first, can you just tell me a little bit about the toy drive and what it is? Well, um, I teach the Middletown High School North Civic Leadership class and our class is built around doing different community service projects. And I was actually contacted by one of our former civic leaders who now is very involved in Middletown Helps Its Own. And we usually adopt a family through Middletown Helps Its Own. So they asked if we would be willing to do a toy drive for that. So we started the toy drive and we decided that we would do it every Tuesday. And then with the virtual instruction, it kind of, we had to modify it again. What was the inspiration? I think with the pandemic and always the holiday season, there's always um, people in need. And when I talked to the kids about that, um, we used to get letters from an organization that were Santa letters. And now we just try to keep it a little bit more local because we know during this pandemic, there's definitely people in our community who need our help. Hmm. So just so, to make sure everybody has a happy holiday season. How many students helped with the toy drive? Well, we have 42 civic leaders and they're all involved in different ways. Uh, we reach out to local um, press. You know, there's different people who are in contact with Middletown Helps Its Own, different people who are at the um, toy drive itself. How long did the, did the process take overall? Well, we decided instead of doing one day that with the virtual instruction and to give everybody in the North community an opportunity to participate, that we would spread it out. So that's when we decided to do the every Tuesday. And then with the pandemic and everything, it had to turn into this virtual toy drive. Mm -hmm. So we put a box just this Tuesday. We put a box outside the main entrance of Middletown North. And I came back at five o'clock to pick up all the toys and we actually got 130 toys that day. Oh, wow. It was amazing. It's more now turned into an outpouring from the whole community, which has been nice. How many toys did you get overall? So far right now, we have 188. We got 58 at our first uh, Tuesday and then uh, 130. Our original goal was 100. So we're very excited that we exceeded that. But now being who I am, I've now doubled that. So now I want 200. <laughs> we have one more Tuesday left to get the 200. What was the overall experience like? You know what? Um, the first Tuesday we were able to set up in the front parking lot. It was um, the virtual week right after Thanksgiving. And what's rewarding to me is to watch the kids as people drove into the parking lot dropping off toys. You know, because they were standing um freezing standing holding toy drive signs and people actually said oh i felt bad for you guys and i saw you guys freezing out there so i ran to target and here are some toys and it was very nice for them to see that people care so as the teacher it's rewarding for me to watch the kids mm -hmm. get that satisfaction of doing some doing a good job did they tell you um if they enjoyed it afterwards like what were the students saying yeah they're really happy they're really surprised at the outcome because right now in the back of the room is the 188 toys and when they walk in they're like oh my god because we're not able to all be together so different kids are seeing it at different times and you know they, they were pretty excited because when it went virtual i gotta be honest we weren't sure we were going to get the support mm. and we've been very happy and it sparks them to want to do more good mm. did you run into any problems yeah, having to pivot it to virtual. That was a big one for us because they enjoyed the first Tuesday being there. So the next group of kids that were supposed to man the, the booth, um, that Tuesday when they were told, sorry, it's gotta be virtual. Um, you know what, I, they were a little disappointed, but we had to adapt and overcome. So the one class came up with ideas to make signs, almost lawn signs, to let people know, instead of us holding them, we put lawn signs in the front. So mm -hmm. that drew the attention of the people. And I said, look it, you were dealt a, you know, uh, a roadblock that now we can't be there to draw the people in and you problem solved on how to fix it. So that made me very happy. Hmm. So why is it important to donate? Like why should people donate? 
because there are people out there right now struggling. I mean, there's people out there struggling all the time. Right now during the pandemic, the need is very high. So I think donating, if you can, even any small donation will go to help somebody have a happy holiday season. When is the next collection and where can people donate next? The next collection is Tuesday, um, December 15th. And again, we will set up our box right outside the main entrance where the lion statue is for collection. And I come after, we say from two to four, but I'm probably gonna put it out there by 12 o'clock. And cause then the, the kids are gone and, and people can donate. And I come back at five o'clock and pick it up and we are actually delivering them on the 17th to Middletown Helps Itself. Mm -hmm. And I contacted the, the former civic leader who reached out to me and she, they're very excited to be getting this many toys. So that's all my questions. Is there anything else you would like to add? That, you know, Midtown Civic Leadership is always looking for other volunteer opportunities or if any organization out there needs any help to please reach out to us um, at Middletown High School North and I can hopefully help you and we can collaborate on some type of uh, organization, you know, some type of uh, community service project. Okay, thank you. That's thank you.